Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I am a mathematician by profession. So what I am going to do into this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis. So we can make a decision that if you really look at this yield max ETF, there are more than 26 of those. Now making a decision which one to buy is a tough one. So we want to make sure when we put our hard earned money, we put it into the ETF that give us the maximum return, maximum. That is what we're trying to do. Get the maximum return and identify those through mathematical analysis. Now, looking at the yield max ETF, let's go to the website yieldmaxetf.com if you look at this website these are the ETF sites now most of the ETFs are single stock ETF there are few that are multiple stuff that why max that is funds of fund I will tell you in a second what that really means YMAG that's based on the Magnificent 7 funds and RT that is multiple stocks funds. So these are the three. So why is it three different than all the other ETF? If you look at this uh, distribution schedule, Yieldmax ETF has two different distribution schedule. One is the beginning of the month that, and that is mostly for all the single stock ETFs, most of them. But there are a few, as I showed you, like uh, all the funds of funds and multiple ones. Those ETFs, dividends are paid in the middle of the month. The one was just paid like a few days ago. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to look and focus on these three multiple category ETF, which is actually I highlighted it over here, right? So YMAX, YMAX, and ULTY. So um, if you have seen the video that I did earlier this month, what I did is I went back and looked at every single ETF, all 26 of those, and calculated the air-to-date performance of that, every single one, all 26 of them, and then ranked them from 1 to 26. Now, if you would have invested in this ETF at the beginning of the fund or the start of the year, this much you would have made. Assuming that we invested $5,000, that is a hypothetical amount of money that I put it in there. Now, we don't all put the money or buy it at the same time. You know, we all buy it at a different time based on our whatever criteria you set on. You know, we someone buy in January, someone buy in February, some some March. So what I'm going to do in this video is focus number one is these three YMAC, YMAX, and RT, and do a deep dive detail analysis and see how much would have we had made if we would have invested at the beginning of the year. And so these are the three I'm going to be focusing on. At the same time, I'll do detailed mathematical analysis of it, detail. See, okay, how did I come up with this number? And then, as I said, that we all buy it at a different time. I'm going to take a look at it and see, okay, if we would have bought in February, how much the return rate would have been. If we are the luckiest one, if we buy it at the bottom of it, at the lowest price, how much? Would we have gained? So we will look at different time period and see wh how much we will make. So let's take a look at it. Let's focus on ULTY, right? So here it is. If you look at ULTY, where did it go here, right? Distribution rate is 85.12%. You know, honestly speaking, I am not the one who focus a lot on this one. Sometimes this one just does not make sense to me. 
simply because it has a higher distribution rate does not necessarily mean that it's going to give me a higher state of return. And, and I showed you in my previous videos. So what this fund is, this is a fund that if you go at the bottom of it, you see, okay, these are all the holding of that, right? So if I go download this holding, click on this. So it comes up like this. So the way the fund work is, the fund invests maximum 5% on each security. So they have like 5% each, there are 20 different stocks that has been bought and then the covered call is sell on those. And the income that is generated are distributed on a monthly basis. So let's focus on ULTY. ULTY, right? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this one. Let's suppose if we bought it on the day the fund was started, which was February 21, 2024. No, I'm going to put $5,000 on that. If you look on that, on RT, the fund was started in February and the stock price was $19.35, right? So it's starting over here. The fund is started on February 21 and the stock price was 19.35, right? If I put $5,000 and purchase it at $19.35, that will come up to 258.39, <coughs> excuse me, share. So going over here, since I am not dealing with fractions, so I will buy 258 of those. I bought 258 at $19.35, and that will amount to, if you multiply this one, right, with this, let, let's do this, right? You multiply this with this, 4,992.30. Since I invested $5,000, so I have $7.70 cash on hand. Now, since I'm assuming that I still have that ETF in my portfolio. So as of today, it's still only 258 shares. Today, the stock price was $11.06. So the total stock value will be, or ETF value will be, today's stock price multiply with the number of ETF I hold, $2,853.48. I still have $770 cash on my account, remaining, right? Now, from February to August, right? when I, I actually took the snapshot of that, so there was six monthly distribution was paid, right? March, April, May, June, July, August. And dividend paid was, you can go back onto the website and look over here. These are the distribution, monthly distribution paid. So I actually transfer that into the Excel spreadsheet or Google sheet. This is the monthly dividend that was paid. If you add all those up, $6.66.94. So this is how much it is. Right? This is per ETF. Since I own 258 of these ETFs, so total dividend earned is you take what this month multiply with number of right 172 so what is the total i have if i bought in february 21 earned 1720 dollars in dividend 770 is the cash that i have and the stock value of or the etf value is 2853 dollars now, since I invested $5,000, that was my initial investment. But the current value is $4,581. That means if I invested $5,000 on RT at the beginning when the fund was introduced, I am in red, I'm losing money, right? Now, let's suppose, so this is what is that, and this is how the trend of this looks like now. This is a dividend, one, two, three, four, five, six, monthly dividend was paid. Now, we all buy it at different time. And some of those, or some of us are so smart. We are so lucky that we have the ability to pick it at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some mathematical calculation for you smarty pants, for you smarty guys. If you bought it at the lowest point, how much you would have made? was still it was the best investment. So let's take a look at it, right? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some of the, the bottom over here for each before each dividend. Like, okay, this was the dividend was paid on April 17. And between April 17 and the May 14, I'll see, okay, well, I'll pick one of the lowest point and see if we are lucky enough to buy at the dip, how much we would have made. So let's take a look at it now. So I just went to the detail one, right? That means, okay, if you bought an inception of that, we lost $418. Now let's suppose we are a smart one, right? If we, instead of that, we buy it in May 19, I'm mean, sorry, March 19. I'm going to go over here. Let's look at this. And this is the March 19, right? March 19. This stock price was 1738. And one, two, three, four, five. Since you bought it on March 19, after my dividend, so you're not going to get paid for this dividend. You will only get paid for this five dividend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, on March 19, the closing ETF price was 1738. And if I bought it and kept it till today, I got five different distributions. So let's take a look at it. So I bought it on March 19 at $17.38. So I bought 287 of this, right? And the price I paid was $17.38. So total purchase price was $4,988. And I'm left with some cash, $11.94. Now, so since I bought it on March 19, so I'm only going to get paid for this five dividends, right? So if we go back and look at these five dividends, I'm not going to get March dividend. I'm going to get paid for this dividend. So the total of all these four are $5.60, right? $5.60. Cent. So let's suppose if I buy it on March 19, based on that, the current price will be, So I would have, well, I would still be in the red actually, right? I would still be losing money, $205. So let's pick one more data point. Let's put, let's, after this one, let's pick, let's, which one did I pick? Let's pick this one more time. Let's pick April 19. On April 19, right? So, okay, April 19 is another dip. I bought it at the closing price of $14.23. $14.23, let's do that. $14.23, I can only buy $3.51. I'm left with, now if I bought it on April 19, I would have made $356.97. That's 7% gain. So you see how the timing effect is not only how much you buy, and when you buy is also very important, right? So let's keep doing that, right? I mean, instead of wasting too much of time, let's keep it. Uh, let's suppose if instead of April, there's another dip, right? So let's take it, we bought on June. So let's, June 24, I bought it, another dip. Now what happened? If I buy it on June 24, I'm not gonna get paid dividend for all this, right? I'm only gonna get paid for this two dividend. So the closing price on June 24th, I bought a dip was $13.24. $13.24, if I buy $13.24, got $377. So if you bought on that, we're still in the red, right? Because, you, now let's take one more, just one more thing. Let's suppose that instead of that, I bought it just when the price was at the lowest. What particular date I picked on over here? Let's let's take an example of about on August. About on August 5th, which was eleven dollar six cent right? at the bottom of about on August 5th. About on August 5th at ten dollar eighty six cents. So I bought 460 ETF at a price of 1086. And since I bought it in August 5th, what does that mean? If you look at it, after August 5th, there's only one dividend that was paid, and that is 78 cents. So that means is I got paid 78 cents based on that. So what what is the conclusion? What is the key takeaway from this? That 
if you really look at it, the best performance nine percent. Still, if you compare with all these, right? Even to the best time, if you just time it so perfectly, you still maximum you'll make nine percent on ULTY. All the other, there are actually there are eleven of those, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, there is actually twelve of this ETF that perform a lot better than RT. So should you invest in RT? Well, that is your decision. But if I have to invest it, I am not going to put my money in there. Because even if you look at this, there's a different purchase date whenever you purchase it. Yes, some you lose more money, some you make some money, but the percentage of gain on RT is not that high as compared to all others that right based on the ranking of those so this was a video for today so what i try to do is i try to do the mathematical analysis to give you an idea no decision is yours you take a look at it and based on this make a decision what make more sense for you but for me based on this it does not make sense. absolutely no sense whatsoever if i have to put the money in here i would put on some of those that make or give highest return. So if you look at NVD, Messi, Nefli, FBY, no matter when you buy it, you, you can do the same calculation for, 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 for Messi on NVD, and you can do it for a different time period, and you will see no matter when you buy it, it will always be profitable. So you make your decision. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, subscribe, like, and I hope to see you soon with some other video. Till then, thank you for watching.